It's a grating, disturbing sound that can drive couples apart, forcing separate sleeping arrangements and bedtime arguments. But there's another side to snoring that simply cannot be ignored. You hear that it's cancer, that really kind of shocks you into place of, wow, that's not what I was expecting at all. There are symptoms sometimes associated with snoring that could signal a rare form of cancer. Channel 2's Haley Hernandez has this health alert. It wasn't like a nice snore or even a loud snore. It was loud and angry. Nancy Nagridge won't soon forget how her husband Daniel sounded in his sleep. He had never snored before. It also sounded like he was choking sometimes. It, it, you know, he, he couldn't hear himself. I could. Mm -hmm. And it scared me a little bit. My wife telling me, you know, you really need, let's go get this checked out, what's going on. Daniel saw his doctor who referred him to a specialist after something didn't look right. This was all tumor back here. That specialist ultimately ordered an MRI, revealing a frightening diagnosis. When you hear that it's cancer, that really kind of shocks you into place of, wow, that's not what I was expecting at all. The cancer in Daniel's neck is called a chordoma. They grow slowly, and it's pretty rare, affecting about one in a million people. Dr. Aaron McKean is an ear, nose, and throat specialist who treated him. In Daniel, the cancer started down in the cervical spine. He was snoring because of the chordoma growth, the tumor growth at the back of his throat and the back of his nose. And it's a good thing he listened to his wife and the tumor was discovered when it was. If he kept ignoring this, there's a good chance that if it grew backwards towards the spinal column, it could have paralyzed him. Um, if it grew up towards the brain stem and uh, the back of the eye, it could have caused him double vision. And if it grew towards the front into his airway, he could have died in his sleep or had a problem where he couldn't breathe and uh, either died or needed that urgent surgical airway. Dr. McKean found a separate tumor in his thyroid. A team of doctors came up with an aggressive plan. The first surgery was to remove my thyroid, which had some cancer in it as well, and do a tracheotomy, which prepped me for the next two surgeries, which removed the chordoma over two different surgeries. This all took place in one week. Doctors then followed up with radiation treatment. We're going to look in his nose. At a follow up appointment, Dr. McKean uses a special camera to reevaluate the area. And there's some swelling here from having had surgery and radiation. Tumor's gone. I treat a lot of cancers and I like to see wins uh, when we can. And uh, he's, he's been fantastic. Daniel is now cancer free and free from snoring. He'll have to be monitored because the cordoma could return, but he's thankful for the team who helped him and his wife for bugging him to get that snoring checked out. Oh, absolutely eternally grateful, both for that and the way she has supported and been with me through this whole process. I don't feel vindicated at all. I just feel happy that, you know, he got it taken care of finally. If you snore, that doesn't mean you have cancer, but you should get it checked out. And that goes for any time you experience changes with your body or something that doesn't feel right. I'm health reporter Haley Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.